So I'm going to do a couple exa example uh, searches. So let me go over to the advanced search to do that. So say I wanted to just filter by an instructional purpose. So say I'm looking for something that does media creation. So what media creation tools do I have available to me? So there's a filter for that. I've got 86 results. And so I could page through those or filter that down further if I wanted to do that, if I want wanted to reset things. So say I wanted to filter by multiple, multiple criteria, like say I wanted to find mathematics titles. So let's do things that are for math at elementary school that work on a Windows machine. So nice. elementary, mathematics, Windows. So I've got nine titles that meet those three criteria all at the same time. Let me reset that. And let's say I'm a high school person and I want to see what tools do I have to get consent, parental consent, before I can use. So I can go down to the approval, uh, approval of the permission filter. So things that require consent would be required and required C note. So there are 106, and so then I could look through these and see, yep, high school required, consent required. So yeah, notice all of these have conditions, and those conditions are consent is required. So you can do these multiple filters at once is what I'm getting at here. So let, let me reset things and then go back and just search for, bring up Flipgrid as, a, as an example. So Flipgrid, is said, you know, conditions apply. Each one has its own about page. So again, it's approved with conditions, little description, who the audience is, all that metadata is there, what ecosystem category is it, locally supported or FCPS provided, that kind of thing. Um, this is new approved alternative products. So say, you know, so Flipgrid, parental consent is required for all ages, but if I did not get consent or if I didn't want to go through the process of doing that, I could use instead, you know, Wixie or VoiceThread kind of does the same thing. Those are also approved in FCPS. And so for each of these products, uh, we've been identifying not just what it is, but some things you might use in its place. How are accounts created? Logins, login, how logins happen, notes, and then also brand new at the bottom, consent notes, you know, what are our future plans for this? So for this Flipgrid, we love it. We would love to be able to you know, get rid of parental consent requirements for that one. So in the future, ISD is be working with that vendor to see if we can get some sort of confidentiality, confidentiality agreement signed. And so that would change its consent status from required to you can use it because we have that signed agreement in place. So I mentioned again, if you have more questions about parental consent, I highly suggest you see uh, Elizabeth and Leslie's session on that during the uh, ESPITS kickoff. So if you want to come back to this, the research results, return to search results, want to clear everything again, you clear everything again. So uh, that's a quick tour of the new ecosystem library for faculty and staff. Uh, one more point, not this exact product, um, but we will also be, for the first time ever, publishing a parent-facing version of this. So it will list the same ideas, not not everything that's like things that are not approved or things that are in, in the pri pipeline won't up show up for parents, but we will pu be putting out a version of this that is parent-facing. So to give our community more transparency of what tools are approved for use with their students.